Coasters and Brews fam! We're out here, we're out here Mount Joy, PA, right outside of Lancaster. We are at Boobies Brewery. This place is awesome, super old. We're gonna go take a look inside. I'm gonna tell you some history. Let's freaking go. Oh, thank you. That was perfect. That was perfect timing. Look at this place, guys. Look at this place. Alright, come over here. Come over here. This is where all the action seems to be happening. Um, I will say, before we go in here, they are having a Halloween event. Halfway to Halloween. So that's why everybody in here that you're about to see is all dressed up. It's freaking awesome. Let's go. Look at this frickin' place! Sick! Alright guys, this place is awesome. Not, it's a brewery. And they don't really have much on tap, right? And right now, they only have... Right now, they only have if you're looking brewery-wise, they do have a full bar and all that stuff. They even have like, a lot of their beers. Like, Blue Moon, Miller Lite, they have a bunch of bottles. You can actually see all the bottles and cans they have here. And then guest brands. So they, they have a ton of more other beers. But as far as breweries go, it's kind of lackluster. Uh, as far as their beer goes, the beer that I've tried so far was the Spring Ghost. And it was really good. Um, and they do have a 12% here. It's open style. I know it says 11%, but it's actually 11.9, as you can see all the sign over there. And that was actually really good, but they just only have so many. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because apparently, when they brew beers here, they do five gallon tubs, which isn't a lot. And they really just like to switch it up like week to week. But yeah, so regardless, kind of lackluster um, when it comes to the brewery. But um, as far as bars go, the history, uh, as far as breweries go, the history of this place is just kind of out of this world. Like I said, to really kick it off here and like kind of blow your mind, it's a Halloween event here tonight. This place uh, was founded in 1876 and is known to be super haunted. And for their Halloween event, there's even a paranormal investigative team here. How crazy is that? How crazy is freaking that? So yeah, for their Halloween event too, they had a bunch of vendors. Yeah, they got this creepy ass doll. Theme to saw, obviously. I'm drinking uh, just Miller Lite. Like I said, I had their Spring Ghost AC, AC IPA earlier. Absolutely delicious, actually. And I tried their oatmeal uh, oak stout that I just showed you. That was 11.9%. Uh, it was also it was good for a 12% beer. It, uh, it wasn't nasty like Mad so that was good. Um, but let me dive into the history of this place. So, Alois Booby. Like I said, we're at Boobies Brewery. Boobies, Boobies, nice. Boobies. Nice, yeah. So, Alois Booby. Uh, let me start here. German style beer started becoming very popular in the uh, early 1800s over here in America. Way more popular than the beers that they were brewing. And so he decided to make this brewery uh, right in the spot that we're standing in 1876 to brew his beer, Lois Booty. Um, the brewery went strong until Prohibition hit in the 1920s and it closed down. Uh, his family reopened it in the 1960s and it's been going strong ever since. Everything you see, Gabby, take a, take a spin around, take a little spin around. Everything you see that is holding this building up is original. From the 18, 1860s, man. It's pretty crazy. Um, he originally acquired the hotel that's right next door. That's apparently where all the ghostly activity happens here. Um, but there is still some ghost activity that happens in this building. We talked um, to one of the bartenders here, our boy Rob. Can't see him, but he's, a, he's a, wearing like a pirate hat. Regardless, um, him and three guys were downstairs working, uh, closing out this place. They have the, oh, by the way, they have fancy dining downstairs called the Catacombs. It's sick. It's, it's really cool. Uh, regardless, that's where they were. 1.30 in the morning, and he feels like he hears talking, whispers in his ear. And the other two guys he's with hear it also. And they were just like, let's get out of here. 
that's not the only experience he had here. He got hired here in October, six months ago. Because we're halfway to Halloween. Um, he got hired here in October. Also had one other experience where he was walking back into this place. And they don't really serve, if you see over here, um, those glasses over there, they, they don't serve them at night after a certain time, he was saying. As you can see, I'm drinking from a plastic cup. And he said, the first two rows just went flying off. Flying off. And then he told us immediately after that, he's not trying to sound like a bitch, but if he's working until 3 a.m., at some point he's calling his wife to keep him company because he ain't working here alone. Pretty funny. But yes, this place, really cool, really unexpected. Gabby just wanted to go here tonight. And it ended up being this super cool historical brewing place that is just super neat and real fascinating. And we're just having an awesome time, guys. Uh, we will be at Dutch Wonderland tomorrow. So that's gonna be a ton of fun. Uh, you can check that vlog. I'm sure we'll have it on, well, we will have it on Coastal Brew. It's gonna be a good time. We'll, we'll see. Never been. Uh, looking forward to it though. Alright guys, I gotta wrap it up here. We gotta get back to party more for the halfway to Halloween event. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, come to Boobs Brewing if you're in the Lancaster area. Till next time, baby!